part two. Oh, you want the camera? Okay, dude, now we're looking at the grounds up here. Thought you needed a little bit of advice. Yeah, that's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Okay, uh -huh. this we're standing at the front door, but we're going to come back to the front door. I want to make this real simple. We're going over here, and this is the area I was talking about that goes down below to where the septic is. So if I stand right here and I walk up to the edge of the flat ground, it all goes down in this area right here. As you can see it, it's down in there. I'm going to turn around, and there's where we drove up from. And then this is the area right here. It's flat. This is all the front of the house, right here. This is the flat area. I'll give you a quick look at the staircase that goes down below and a quick look at the deck and the front door. But right now I'm going to take you around the corner to the property. And if we look up this hill, and I continue on up this hill, I want you to look for the T-posts. They're green with the white tops. And that's exactly where the dog fence is. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it on here. So I will stop and let you focus and look for it. And it goes around this direction to the terraced area. And the dog fence is still up above. You've got the terraced area that's down here. Here's the ground I'm standing on. And then it goes up one, two, three. And it cruises on around like this. Here's the flat ground that I was talking about. And this is the side of the house that has the door that goes into the kitchen. This is the pool table room deck right here and I would assume just from I'm six feet tall it's at least eight or nine feet off the ground but anyway we'll get back to that later let's go up here and I'm gonna show you the mountain I don't know how far up it goes but I know it goes quite a ways as you can see from the aerial picture I'm gonna stand up here on this uh, this uh, luggage right here before I stand on it okay well if we're here at the house actually we pull in so most of the land goes this direction okay there's that picture I was talking about there you go and that's where I'm gonna look at right now where I just put where I just moved the camera I'm gonna look at that right now I'm gonna walk up here and it'll focus and that's how it goes up into the forest and like I told you before it's not really a rock climbing type steep mountain it's something that's very easy to walk. So in other words, if there was a heavy rain, I would not worry about a, a mudslide or anything like that. And you can see the wooded fence. That's the fence for the dog. And it cruises on around like this. I'm on the second terrace area right here to give you an idea of how high it is. I hope I'm not going too fast. And I'm coming around this direction. Oh, I forgot to tell you, but there is something here that you need to know about and it's called <laughs> a tree yeah yeah <laughs> so we're gonna walk You're probably going yeah what an idiot right <laughs> so we're walking down here nice we're walking down here on the third tiered terraced area I'm gonna give you a shot of what it looks like back this direction I'll give you another shot going up the mountain and there's the dog fence coming on around. I'm going to walk out here to this area. That's the dog fence. I'm going to walk down here. This is like a perimeter, this little road right here. I'll show you. It's, it stops basically where I'm shooting at right now, Anton. And if you notice real slowly, I'll come around. Oh, hi. Winner. You have a winner. <laughs> you come around here and you can see this cut that's been made and this is uh, to go around the property where the dog fence is or whatever it's also been put in obviously for a fire break okay. now I'm gonna come over here Anton to this extreme corner right here here's some more of the dog fence now I'm gonna show you exactly the area what I was talking about and that is terraced and the trees that should come out if you were to build a garage. And those are the trees right there. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Uh, two, one kind of large, the rest are kind of medium height, and they're the same height as the trees I just cut down in my house, the big fir.
Now you can see here this area is pretty flat right now and then it cuts back up and that's your fire break slash property for the uh, the dog run. Whereas the acreage really goes in the back, Anton. That's why I'm doing a panoramic right here. This is what the woods look like. It's very beautiful and it's very, very quiet right now. Now I'm going to walk over to this area. This is how you would drive down to the bottom to the uh, basement. You would come right here. There's a burn pile from the old uh, roof probably, I assume. This is part of the cut. Now where these little branches are right here, I'm going to walk up to this pile, little branches right here. These branches are 35 feet. This pile of branches right here is 35 feet from the house. 35 feet, very important. Uh, you see you would take your car and you would come right down here to this area that's kind of flat and you would cruise right on around like this and you would end up at the bottom where you see the picture that was taken for the promo for the house. These trees right here are the ones I was talking about. That would have to be removed if you choose to build a garage right there. I'm looking at the back of the house. I hope you can see it because I'm going to walk over to it here in a minute. That fascia board that I was talking about doesn't have to be replaced, but it would be nice if you want to because right there it's had a lot of weather and the rain probably goes on this side. As you can see from the weathering next to the uh, fireplace block. You can see it on the log uh, home. When you come up here to the block itself, you'll see a white pipe that's on the house. That's a one inch water line that goes straight to the pump. One inch water line. The pump is far away and I'll give you the footage later. I'm walking up to the back of the house right now. And I want you to see it real close. This is the house that gets the most, the side that gets the most weathering. It gets the most weathering is this side here. See it? It's all cosmetic. It's all cosmetic, Anton. And I'm going to go up here, let you look up here in the eaves. We're never having anything done to it since the year of 1980. It's pretty damn solid and it's in pretty good condition. I would I don't have any complaints. I don't know why they didn't seal the uh the block, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. All right, I'm going to shut this off for a minute. Yeah. So that it'll charge even though that red light's been going on. Yeah.